Hi guys. So yesterday I started thinking about my first seizure really early in the morning and I just kept thinking about it and I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I had a bunch of seizures yesterday because of the pain in my shoulder and the spine and every time I have a seizure um, it's actually the, the pain in my spine because I fell a couple of weeks ago uh, on the stairs because there was like some powder or something on the top of the stairs and I slipped on it and I fell back and I actually from what I remember because I blacked out for like a split second uh, from what I remember I know the first impact was definitely um, my right um, the back of my right shoulder blade and so um, ever since then I've been like having these weird seizures where I feel like a shooting pain like all over my spine and then I black out and for who knows how long. Sometimes it's a chronic seizure and sometimes it's just a regular absence. And like I slid down the stairs when I fell. Like I actually slid down a whole, like a full flight of stairs. There were maybe, I don't know, seven to 10 steps um, that I slid down and yeah so so today it, it, it this is related so today I was thinking about why I was thinking about my seizures yesterday uh, um, about my first seizure and how I could remember everything like like it had just happened my first seizure I had um, gotten ready to go to my Taekwondo class. It was May. It was a Saturday in May and it was really hot and but I had just closed the door. I had just closed the front door. And then I just I blacked out. And so what happened was when I came out of it, I still wasn't all there. And I was freaking out. I I didn't know what happened. I thought I was dying. I thought, like, what is the end of my life? And I just I just couldn't understand what was going on because at this time, neither me nor my mom knew what seizures were. So I just I was freaking out. I I couldn't even speak. I like if I tried to speak, it was it just came out as gibberish. So I tried to get up, I tried to stand up um, to open my door because I kept falling down and I was getting really pissed off. So I started banging on the door for my mom to open the door. She finally did. I practically crawled to my room uh, after trying to tell her what happened and I got a piece of paper and I tried to write down what was happening what I thought was happening. I, I was trying to tell her, I was trying to write down 911, call 911. And I was getting really frustrated because all that came out was scribbles. And at first, for like a good 10 minutes, my mom thought I was playing a prank on her because this is the kind of person that I was at the time. I was, I was playing pranks on her and, you know, trying to joke around and everything because I always wanted to make people laugh and you know, just play around, whatever. And um, to this day, I'm I'm pretty good at it. So, <laughs> but that's besides the point. Uh, so she thought I was just acting, that I was just playing a prank on her. I kept trying to write 911, and it was getting really frustrating. I was getting really pissed off. And uh, the reason I say for a good 10 minutes that she thought I was playing a prank on her is because uh, by the end of that I started crying because I was so frustrated that I couldn't write down that I needed her to call 911 because I thought I was dying. I was freaked out like beyond belief. So terrified and so she called 911 because she finally figured out that like oh she's not playing a prank because she's actually crying now. She's 
she's being serious. She she needs help. Um, so yeah, that's all I remember after that is pretty much going to the hospital and then them trying to figure out what happened from what I told them and then eventually they're like, oh, we had a seizure and then like, I don't know, a couple months later they're like, oh, so now you're epileptic because I kept having seizures after that and so yeah, they're like, oh, now you're epileptic because you're having seizures, so yeah. And so, so why I was thinking about it today, I was thinking about why I was thinking about it. And i um, sorry if I confused you <laughs> just now, um, but I was just realizing the fact that I fell down and the fact that I was thinking about my procedure like pretty much all day yesterday that the reason I was thinking about it is because it was basically my mind kind of reminding me that you know what you have to stop worrying about you know people trying to prevent you from success you have to stop worrying about uh, people saying like oh that that's not cool like what you're doing is whatever like you know because there's always going to be somebody who's going to be a naysayer and there's always going to be somebody who's going to relate to you who's going to want to understand what you're going through and like I, for me now nobody has ever understood not even other epileptics has a, has understood what I've gone through in my life because sure they maybe understood like the first seizure what happened the terrifying feeling but everything else in my life not everybody understands that and not everybody would understand every single thing in my life at once there would be some people that understand some things and then some people that understand other things but there's nobody that understands everything and it's just it's kind of an eye-opener for me to stop worrying about what other people think and to just keep working towards my own success and not to think about even what my family might think about what I want to do, what my passions are, and not to let um, their negative opinions to stand in the way of what I want to do. Because I write, I write songs, I write books, um, I'm working on two books at once, which is kind of weird, but I'm almost done one of them. And I have a bunch of songs, and I love filming, I love making videos, and just talking to people, and just getting to know people, and understanding what people go through to, I don't know, I guess, I guess it's just me wanting to understand other people's lives and other people's experiences, see... I guess maybe how they grew up and kind of understand that maybe some things that they think of now that some of their morals may have been, you know, um, just built that way because of how they grew up. And um, I don't know how to put that, but. Yeah, but I was thinking also that even though my shoulder hurts so much and it is so painful to lift my shoulder up or do anything with my right arm because it just hurts my shoulder, like uh, my forearm like has no feeling pretty much and it's been like that since I fell down. But my shoulder is so painful, but I'm still
still going to be exercising and I'm going to go through it and I'm taking turmeric and it's helping with the pain. So it helps a tiny bit, but it still helps enough that I can do things in my daily life because I have to do those things. And I can't stop doing those things, but I'm just going to continue exercising and I'm going to try and avoid um, stuff with my arms like push-ups and stuff like that um, and just kind of try to lose the weight from my arms by walking because that doesn't hurt as much because I'm not using my arm um, to like put pressure on it or something. But I think in order for me to be healthy and mind, body, and soul, I have to exercise, I have to get enough sleep, I have to eat right, and I really have to avoid processed food. I have to eat as much whole fruits and veggies as I can, because honestly, that's, that's the only time I really feel good. And, and it's good, but it's hard, and I know it's hard for other people, but it's something that I have to go through in order to get to where I want to be, and I know this video is like 12 minutes long, but that's okay, because if you stuck around to listen to all my blabber, then thank you very much. Um, so, end thoughts. I'm going to continue exercising. I'm going to try to avoid my arm, um, but I'm still going to try to do my arms in a way. Like, I'm going to try to avoid as much pressure as possible on my arms. Um, and I'm going to eat healthier. At least I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to avoid like bread and instant soups and um, those ready like vegan hot dogs and vegan like ground beef and whatever. Because yeah, but other than that, like, I'm just going to continue to work hard on what I want in my life and kind of block out the naysayers. Well, actually, yeah, that's exactly what I have to do. I have to block out the naysayers because if I let it get to me, then, you know, it's not going to be a great thing. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my other channels, my vegan channel and... Wait, this is my vegan channel. Boom. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. And yeah. Love you guys and goodbye.